Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this series of uh, videos for the topic of vectors. Uh, this chapter is important for mathematics uh, and it also forms the basis for the next chapter that is three dimensional geometry. Uh, there will be series of videos for this topic. Uh, in this first video, I will just like to talk about very basic stuff uh, and I will try to define vectors. I believe that there is a lot of confusion among students about even basic things of definition of vectors like position vector, line vector, unit vector and magnitude. Uh, I think if you can really focus on this video uh, and really try to understand the difference between position vector and line vector, that will very, very, that will clarify a lot of things for you. Uh, so let me start uh, by defining what a position vector is. So. Uh, First, before I am going into position vector, let me just briefly summarize vectors for you in case you are not familiar. I believe you have already learned about vectors uh, in uh, uh, chapters of physics like uh, uh, kin kinematics and forces and all that. Uh, you should know that vectors are quantities where which, has, which have both magnitude as well as direction and they are very, very important for uh, in general for uh, scientific development. So let's just me start. Let me start by uh, defining what are position vectors. So a position vector is a vector connecting origin to a point. Okay, uh, and as the name suggests basically this position vector is about the position of one point and I think this is where a lot of students get confused even the most basic definition of position vector. So let us say we have, uh, so a good thing about vectors is that it will always be in three dimensions uh, and that will be really helpful for you in the next chapter of three dimensional geometry. So that is why it is important for you to understand position vectors and things, things like line vector, unit vector. So let us just initially focus on position vectors. So what, what is the definition? A position vector is a vector connecting origin to a point. So let us say we have a point P with coordinates Px, Py and Pz and position vector is, let us call this as x axis, y axis and z axis. And position vector is a vector connecting origin which is O to the point P and pointing in direction of P. This direction pointing is very important because if it is in the opposite direction then the vector will not will not will be something else. Uh, so whenever we write a vector OP vector, this is called OP vector, the first vector is from where the arrow uh, line connects to the second point and P the second the second uh, alphabet which is P in this case OP vector is the uh, signifies, uh, signifies the direction of the vector. For instance, what I am trying to say is that if you have OP vector, OP vector, then the vector will start from O and end at P, okay. And in this case, OP vector actually means Px i cap. I hope you are familiar with i cap. i cap means the direction in the x axis plus Pyj cap plus Pz k cap. Okay, so x axis, y axis and z axis. Okay, uh, another point that you can probably you might want to know is that magnitude of OP vector is square root of Px square plus Py square plus Pz square. Okay. So let us just take a very quick example for this. Uh, If we have a point A, let us say we have a point A point A with coordinates 3 comma 2 comma 1, what is position vector? And its magnitude. and the 
the answer is very we can very quickly write the answer. So, we will write O A vector O A vector is 3 i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap and O A vector magnitude is square root of 3 square plus 2 square plus 1 is square root of 14. Okay. So, just to give you a very quick example that position vector is always and always for a point, position vector is always for a point. Okay. Please do not forget this very, very basic definition of position vector. Trust me, it will happen, it will sometime happen during the chapter of vectors that you will get confused if you do not, I, if you forget this point. So, please try to remember that position vector is always and always for a point. Okay. Now, let us try to move to a new type of vector which is called the line vector. So, position vector is for a point and line vector is for a line. So, as simple as that. So, if you have a line, let us say connecting two points A and B. So, if I write small a vector here and small b vector here. So, what does this mean? A vector is for point A and small b vector is for point B. Whenever you see something like this in brackets, it just means because it is for a point, it refers to the position vector. In other words, A vector is nothing but O A vector and B vector is nothing but O B vector. And are, what are O A vectors and O B vectors? They are O P vector like position vectors of point A and B. So, even this basic thing people get really confused. So, whenever you see points A, point A and something written in the bracket of that, that always means it is a position vector. Okay. So, what does line vector mean? So, line vector means connecting two points and if we have something like AB vector, AB vector again starting from A and ending at B. So, direction arrow goes from A to B, then this vector is defined as B vector minus A vector or in other words, AB vector is OB vector minus OA vector. Okay. So, let us try to take one example and quickly ho hopefully you will be able to understand. what I am trying to say, what is the vector joining sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap and Zero comma zero comma one. Okay. What is its magnitude? So let us try to find the answer for this very quickly. So we have been given. I mean, it might be a little confusing of how it has been written here. So, sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap is basically a point for which you have been given a position vector. So, uh, joining this and this, so we will assume that a vector is sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap and theta can be any parameter, basically theta is an angle and a parameter here, it, it has not been given to us what is this value of theta, so it is fine, but we can still calculate the answer and b vector is nothing but k cap. right? So, what will be b vector minus a vector? Will be k cap minus sin theta i cap minus cos theta j cap and magnitude of a b vector would be similar to li like we defined o p vector magnitude basically squaring all the components. So, minus sin theta whole square plus minus cos theta whole square plus 1 whole square and sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So, a b vector magnitude is root 2. Okay. So, 
in this part I just wanted to emphasize that line vector is for a line and position vector is for a point. Now uh, there are also some vectors which people get uh, always confused about. So here both the vectors are fixed because it always started from A and going and it went to B and this started from O and went to P. However, you should realize that sometimes vectors are also freely used in terms of that the vectors are not fixed. It they only fix the magnitude and the direction, but they don't fix the position. For instance, uh, if I have a vector, if I define a vector, let me create another space here and just call that as a free vector. Okay, if I have been given a vector a. And I have been told that it is i cap plus j cap plus k cap and I have not been given anything information, any other information about this. So what would this vector represent? This vector represents a lot of things. For instance, it can represent a point such that OA vector, let us say this is a point 1 comma 1 comma 1, then OA vector could be i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Similarly, this can also represent a line vector which means that it can the b vector minus a vector for instance it can join two points and can the difference can come out as i cap plus j cap plus k cap okay however free vector by free vector i means that i just know the direction and magnitude but it is free to rotate in this 3d space for instance let us say there is this vector which i am holding here if there is if this vector it can freely rotate it is not changing its direction it is not changing its magnitude so that is a free vector so if you have not been specified a position specific position from where it starts from origin and ends at a position or it joins two points it can also be a free vector and i wanted want to emphasize this because you will see later in this chapter that many many times it happens that uh, people really get confused about uh, free vectors that they are not able to understand it similarly they get confused between oh what is a vector connecting two line two points and they get confused whenever you they see notation with a vector in the brackets or small e vector in the brackets. So just to summarize, whenever you whenever you see a, a point, it always means a position vector. Whenever you see a point, it always means a position vector. Whenever you see a vector joining two points, it means a line vector, which can be which can be calculated like this. And whenever you see something just written like this and not specified whether it is a point or whether it is a line vector, then it means it is a free vector which only has a fixed magnitude and direction and can move freely around the space okay now till now i have always only talked about the magnitude of the vector here ab vector op vector that you can just take the x component square y component square and z component square and take a square root of that however there is something also very important for a vector and that is its direction so let me start by defining unit vector so whenever i write a vector a which is for instance written here I can also write vector A as magnitude of vector A into unit vector. Okay, so what what does this mean? This means that A vector has some magnitude, which you can again calculate by squaring uh, x component, y component, z component, and adding them and taking a square root. And this this A cap is nothing but the unit vector or something which I really really prefer to use the direction of the vector. So unit vector and direction are synonymous. Many people get confused about this. Unit vector and direction are synonymous. So whenever you have a vector, it is a multiplication of its magnitude into its direction or its unit vector. So for instance, if I have to calculate a unit vector, calculate unit vector of A vector. vector a if you want to do that then you can write a, a cap as vector a by mod of a vector a in this case is i cap plus j cap plus k cap and mod of a is square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square and this means i cap plus j cap by square root of root square root of 3 okay in other words i can also write that a vector is root 3 times i cap plus j cap plus k cap by square root of root 3 square root of 3 
and this is the direction which is the unit vector and this is the magnitude okay so if if you want to calculate the let us say another let us just write another question what is the direction of x axis x axis so if you have a direction of x axis direction means a unit vector so in that case a cap would be direction is of something with a magnitude of 1 and we know the direction of x axis is i cap and it also has a magnitude of 1 so it is just i cap i cap is nothing but a direction so whenever i write something like px i cap plus pyj cap plus px pzk cap it means that i have moved px in the x direction right i cap and then i have added something which and i have moved py in the z direction and then i have moved pk in the pz in the k direction so that is how you define direction by unit vectors so till now in this video we just covered very basic stuff position vector refers to a point line vectors refers to joining two points free vector ref ref refers to a vector which is not neither a point nor a line just something that can move freely around the space has a fixed magnitude and a fixed direction and at last unit vector means just the direction where you divide the vector by its magnitude and we did a very quick calculation to see that so i hope this was clear uh, just take some time and digest these things and in the next video we will talk about things like addition of vectors and section formula thank you